parents. If you're not in start, though, then you have to be in court on April 14th at 2 o'clock. All right. But the reality is, either way, uh, you're either going to be a start or there's going to be a warrant for your arrest because you don't go to start. All so. right. Okay? All right. All right. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. You guys have a good day. Okay, I think uh, I saw Sarai, and I'm going to call your case, and then we will call you, you next, Miss Bennett. Yeah, can we maybe call Jessica Ortiz after that? Because she's the one giving Mr. Martinez the right. Oh, yeah. Do you, want to do, you, do you mind? I heard no, that you fine. had a priority, so yes, come on up. Yep, that's a great idea. Hi, how are you? Oh, you know, I've been better. <laughs> well, we appreciate that you're being a team player already. Oh, no problem. And why do you say just it's been a rough, it's been it's a rough been, couple weeks? Been, yeah, it's we been a rough it. couple weeks. I, I've been going through it with dealing with um, my daughter passing and the thing, then my dad right after her. So it's just been, it's been chaos, really, mm -hmm. to, mentally more than anything else has been chaos. I'm so I missed a whole bunch of stuff last week, and um, I have been in contact with um, Miss Ashley the whole time, and I've attempted to go to my treatments. It's just I haven't slept much since my baby died, and it's just been like I fall asleep at random times sometimes, so I've missed the last one because I just, to be honest, I just fell, fell asleep and did not hear my phone ringing or them emailing me to tell me that classes in session or anything so i've just this last week has not been good for me okay well we uh we are all very empathetic and we um we do appreciate what you have done in the last uh, couple of weeks and we know you're new to the program and this is just your first start uh, we recognize that so this would just be our our standard sort of verbal reprimand that we need you to engage with the program in the next couple of weeks, okay, to show up, to tell probation if you're having obstacles or things that are impediments to you doing the program, that you communicate with them, okay? Yes, ma'am. It sounds like that's already happening and it possibility that you're already recognizing that, that inpatient may be something that you need to do at some point. Yeah, here. yeah, and, and I've kind of been thinking about that this whole time, but I, I want to give myself a chance to try going through this with outpatient, and I'm just really trying to get through my daughter's services. Like, um, the coroner hasn't signed the death certificate yet, so they haven't released her body for us to have her funeral or anything. It's just been rough. So I'm just really trying to get through that, and then, and then if I need inpatient after that, I'm I'm ready to go. I just want to be there for her funeral and stuff. So I know, and you've had additional challenges too. I've heard you, you were in a car accident as well. Yeah, and then right after that, my car broke down twice, and then it broke down on the way here. Like my son is sitting on the side of the road with it because he brought my brother's car for me to bring to court. Oh, so. And you're still offering to help yeah. people. Yeah, that is yeah. tremendous. Yeah, it sucks to not have a car, so the bus takes forever to do anything up here. So. All right. Well, thank you. Well, I won't hold you up anymore. Um, again. Um, we will see you in a couple of weeks, and I hope that there's some progress and that you're able to engage more with the program, but I understand some of the challenges. Um, what we thought, too, though, that we would do is to have you go ahead and complete a CERT application just yep. so that it's completed. Yep. We won't um, submit it at this time, and then we'll see you in two weeks, okay? Okay. So we'll see you on April 14th at 3 o'clock, okay? April 14th? Yes. Did I say something different? No, I just I didn't <laughs> catch it all the way. April 14th at 3 o'clock back in okay. this courtroom, okay, Mr. Right, Martinez? Thank you so much. And thank you again. Thanks for your help with Mr. Martinez. All right. Good afternoon. Hi, Judge. How are you? I've been better. I, yeah, I appreciate that you were willing to help out there, too. I heard you chime in at one point. Yeah, like I said, the struggle is real. I know what it is to be without a car, too, so. Yeah. And how about you? You said that you're not doing that great. It's just uh, we're having a rough time right now, you know, me and my family. Uh, with my brother passing and everything, it was a shock, and it's, it's still ongoing, so it's like... It's still a process to get over, kind of. I, I guess not get over, just to deal with that in the meantime. 
I understand. In our our condolences again. I think we talked about this before, but um, I think that the perspective is is that you probably do still need treatment. Um, Just, I've been doing my UAs like I I know it's you just heard this from her, but I thought court was yesterday. You know what I mean? My days are so I just know I'm waking up, going to work, and then before you know it, it's Friday. You know, so it's not that I'm trying to miss this. This I I called Carol yesterday. You know, it's just I, I'm so I'm I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm, we're just trying. I'm just trying to get through today. You know what I mean? And I still I, I still have to be good because I have my son. So I have to put up a smile and be happy. I can't be sad. You know what I mean? So it's not that I'm missing this on purpose. I'm try. I'm really trying. I'm doing my UAs. I'm. Like I said, my days are just so mixed up. You know, I call. I know I have a DUA, but I don't know when it's when it's Monday or Tuesday. I just know when Friday hits. You know what I mean? And then the weekend comes, and then I got to go to work. Well, that's not an issue. You did all your testing. You're doing your probation. The only issue was that you'd missed a couple treatments, and so that's why I was just telling yeah, you that it's. I, I I reached out to her. You know, I'm not. We have a we're, we're going to meet later on this week also, so it's not I'm not trying to miss treatment. I accidentally miss treatment. You know what I, mean? oh, I I get it. We what I was trying to talk about from the beginning is just that it's still important for you to engage in treatment even when you're going through something that's as hard as what you're going through. And you know, like she she mentioned something about going to a grieving group maybe later, and you know, it's something I could talk to my family about. You know what I mean? But right now, it's just. It's still kind of new, you know what I mean? And we still, have, we don't, we, this dude's, he barely got caught, you know what I mean? So we had to deal with the court and all that. So, like, it's, even though, you know, we buried him, it's not over yet, you know what I mean? It's still ongoing. So, you know what I mean? It's it's a process, and I'm, yeah, I'm doing my best to do, you know, good and to stay focused. I really okay. am. But we appreciate that. What we're, what the team's going to do is, you know, that um, with those mistreatment, then you don't you don't phase advance. And so we want to incentivize you so that you can continue to work the program and get the credit for the program for the work that you're doing. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to suspend two days jail, and you be in 100 percent next time to incentivize you to show up. Okay. To not sanction you today, other than to say that. Um, Yep. Okay. Thank you. All right. So that will be the sanction is just the two days suspended on being 100%. And we know you can get there and obviously make sure you loop in Brianna and anybody as far as what we can do to support you while you're going through this in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Thank you so much. And if, you know, if there is something comes up that you make sure to loop in your PO and your treatment provider if there is any issue, if there are any issues. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Will you take care? We'll see you back here on April 14th at 3 o'clock, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. I appreciate it. Okay. Miss Bennett, come on up. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Sorry. I know you've been patiently waiting, but there were a couple of priority things I had to deal with, so thank you. Yeah, that's okay. You are 100% today, so congratulations. And I show 100 sober days to match the 100%. So that is impressive. Thank you. I'm glad you're in person. I also hear that you have a driver's license and a car. I'm speaking do. about people that don't have cars, you have a car now? Yes, I do. Yeah? To my dad. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, it sounds like everything is going well, and as if there's not enough good news, I also have a certificate for phase advancement. Uh, you have successfully completed phase three. Come on up. You want to come on up? I'll hand this to you. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Lots of hard work to get you there. But you are now officially in the phase four camp. Thank you. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> so with that phase advancement, um, but we'll still see you in two weeks this next time. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So we'll see you on April 14th, and that can be a virtual appearance if you'd like. Okay. Okay. And that'll be at what time? 3 o'clock. 
Anything else uh, that you wanted to share with the team or anything else to update us? Uh, no.